Chemical reactions make life possible. Elements combine into compounds and compounds get rearranged into new compounds or broken down into elements. Without chemical reactions, life simply wouldn't be possible. A chemical reaction causes a chemical change and the resulting chemicals are different than the ones that started the reaction. We use a chemical equation to represent a reaction. The starting chemicals are called reactants and they are written on the left hand side of the equation. The products are written on the right and the action is represented by an arrow. Sometimes the arrow can point both ways to show that a reaction can happen backwards and forwards. Reactions typically require some energy to get started. Generally this energy is heat, but there are other ways to get enough energy to start a reaction. This starting energy is called activation energy. Some reactions give off excess energy overall. These are called exothermic reactions. Endothermic reactions use more heat energy than they create. Both endothermic and exothermic reactions have an activation energy that gets them started. Sometimes the activation energy is really high, and most living things have a body temperature that's too low to get lots of the required reactions started. Living things solve this problem by using catalysts to help drive their reactions. A catalyst lowers the activation energy of a reaction. Enzymes are the catalyst of choice for most living things. An enzyme is a protein that lowers the activation energy of a reaction. The reactants in an enzyme-driven reaction are called substrates, and the enzyme generally binds to the substrate to help the reaction along. After the reaction has occurred, it releases the changed chemicals, which are now the products of the reaction. Stay awesome!